This is hydrogen tap. What you're looking at here is a plate lengthwise center of my tank and there's actually a plate on both sides here. And my amp meter. What I'm trying to do is determine if there actually can be a load up or can you actually put more voltage on one side of the cell than the other. In other words, can you load up more positive than negative? Since the negative is the hydrogen side, can we pump more positive into it? And the answer is interesting, if not intriguing. Take a look at this. You can see I've got one plate over here, and I've got the next plate on this side. These both are positive to the positive side of a 12 volt battery, and the negative is in the center. What I'm going to do now is there's only going to be one of those plates hooked to the positive side of the battery, and then I'll have the center plate, which is negative. And we'll put that on there now. Take a look at the amperage. We've got 0.19 amps going through the water. You can see that. There's our negative plate or hydrogen plate in there. And if you look, you can see get a better look at this. There's one side that's not hooked up and then the other side which has got the positive lead on it. Right here. So what we're trying to determine again is what happens we put two positive plates in the water at the same time. Right now we've got 0.15. I'm going to now hook the other positive plate. Now. And you can see what's happening here. Which is really interesting. It changes a lot. There's our hydrogen plate or negative plate. What I'm going to do now is take that off of it again. There's now only one plate. So in other words, on the left plate is a positive and the center is a negative. And I'm going to hook it up again now. It goes from what, 16 to 27. which kind of tells us that we can load up. And of course the question you're asking, right, is if we can load up the positive plates on one side, can we do it in reverse and just load up the negative plate? Does that make any sense? So we've loaded up the positive plates and in doing so we're bringing up the amperage that's going through the water. More amperage should be giving us more hydrogen. So what I'm going to do is put another plate in there and see what happens.
Okay, here's something really interesting, which may be proving the point that I made a long time ago about neutral plates. Okay, we got 0.27. We've got one negative, we've got one positive plate and a negative plate in the center. I'm going to put one plate without hooking it to anything in there. Remember, the last time we did this, we got current going through it, and supposedly, according to the negative or neutral plates, what we're doing is getting free energy, right? But let's see what happens here. And I'm going to put this plate in right now. 0.28. See what happens. 0.29. Yeah. What I'm doing is putting this plate in there without attaching it to anything. It's gone up. Okay, we're at 0.29. I'm going to bring it, take it out of the. Oh, we can. I'm putting it a little bit closer, which means I'm getting more current, right? So I got 0 0.30. Now I'm going to bring it out slowly. Slowly. Gee, imagine that. Looks like my idea is holding up. All right, let's take a better view of this so you can see what's going on. Okay, we're at 0.28. There's a... On this side, there's a plate. It's positive. The center is the negative plate. Now I'm going to put another plate in there without touching it to anything. And it's not going to be hooked to the battery. Watch it go up. 30, 30. How about that? It looks like your free lunch is gone. It looks like the free lunch is gone. Let's take it out again. Let's put it in again. See what's happening? The electrolyte is heating up. So we're going to get more power through there. But it looks like looks like the neutral plate system is acting just like I expected it to. Sorry about that. Well, that's interesting. You go in for one test and you come out with another, right? Running out of time here now. If you want to email me, you can do that at hydrogentap.com. John Aarons at hydrogentap.com or you can go to my site, hydrogentap.com.